Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently I received an email from a photographer asking me if I could recommend to him what application I would use for bulk resizing of images. I told him I don't do a lot of bulk resizing of images, but if I did, I would use Gigapixel AI if I was going to upscale or make the image larger, and I would use Photoshop if I was going to downscale or make the image smaller. The reason for that is if you're upscaling an image, if you're making it bigger, you're often enhancing the noise, you're making the noise more obvious, you're making the flaws more obvious. If you didn't nail focus, that blurriness will be more obvious. Gigapixel AI fixes all that. It will reduce the noise, it will sharpen the image. If there are any flaws, it will help repair those flaws. So Gigapixel AI is a great choice if you're upscaling. The reason why I don't use it for downscaling is because it, it's pretty slow. It takes a long time. So if you have 100 images, 200 images, and you're bulk resizing them in a gigapixel, it's going to take a long time. Photoshop, on the other hand, is very fast, super fast. You could resize images in Photoshop very quickly. Unfortunately, if you're upscaling in Photoshop, it doesn't have anything in it that reduces the noise when you're upscaling or sharpens the image or gets rid of any flaws. So it isn't as good a choice if you're upscaling. On the other hand, if you're downscaling, if you're making the image smaller, you're making, just by making it smaller, you're making noise less prominent and you're making your blurriness or your misfocus less obvious and the flaws even in an image would be less obvious as well. So I use Photoshop to downsize. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop to downsize a bunch of images. Before I do, you might be wondering, well, why would you want to downsize images? Well, I can think of two situations in the past where I needed to downsize. Um, I had to send a number of images via email once. They did not accept images in Dropbox. I guess they were afraid of viruses or something like that. So I had to send them in email. And these weren't images for them to use. They were just proofs for them to look at. So I downsized them in Photoshop before I sent them via the email. The other situation where I had to downsize images was for copyright. Typically, you don't just send one image off to the copyright office to get copyrighted because they charge you per upload. You could send a bunch of images all at once and get them all copyrighted at once for the same price as it would cost for one image, at least here in the United States. So um, in the past, I've sent several hundred images to the Copyright Office to be copyrighted. Um, the Copyright Office doesn't need a high-resolution version of that image. They just need a sample of that image to have on file to prove that you have a copyright on it. So you downsize or downscale uh, those images before you send them to the Copyright Office. So that's two situations where I've had to downscale or make images smaller. Now, the images we're going to be work on, working on, I have in this folder, I only have six for this demonstration, they're in this folder. I have a number of different images. I have one PSD, two JPEGs, and three TIFFs. And you'll see that I have a number of images in different um, orientations and um, ratios. This is a two to three ratioed image that is vertical, and it's a PSD. So you could do these all at the same time. Is, that's why I've chose these. Here's a, a three to two ratio. See, that's a horizontal image. Here is a four by five vertical image. Here is a two or a three by two horizontal image. This one's going to take a long time to load. This is a large image. This is a panorama. So I don't know what the ratio is, but it's a panorama, and you can see that. We're going to resize that all at the same time. And this last TIFF image is a three by two, and it's a black and white image. So we're going to resize all these and you'll see how fast you could do this in Photoshop. And you have a lot of versatility in Photoshop as well. We'll open up Photoshop. Now to get to the resizing part, it's not obvious because it doesn't say resize. You need to go up to File, down to Scripts, and over to Image Processor. And this is it. This is how you resize it. And it has four different sections. The top section, select your images, put them in a folder. And you noticed I had the images in a folder on my desktop. So select the folder. There are images for resizing. Just click open. All right, so we have the folder selected. Now you have the option to open the first image first and do some settings, do some editing to it. 
and then it will get done to all the other images as well. Um, I'm not going to do that. I just, the images are already processed, so I'm ready to go. Now, where do you want to save them? You have save them pretty much anywhere on your system. I'm going to save them in the same location. So they're going to go right back in that folder. But you'll notice that when I do that, they'll uh, be in their own folder. So it won't get mixed up with the other images. File type. We could save them as JPEGs, PSDs, and or TIFFs. So in this, for this demonstration, I'm going to save them as JPEGs with quality of 10. I'm going to convert the profile to sRGB. I'm going to resize to fit. This is why I chose images that were of different ratios. There was a panorama, there was a four by five, there was two by threes and three by twos and all that stuff. It's not going to automatically crop your image. So if you put like square, like 800 by 800 in there, it's not going to make your panorama square, square or anything like that. What it will do is it will, um, going to resize a specific side for Example, most of those images were three by twos, right? So let's go and I'm going to resize this 900 pixels on the long end or the width, I should say, by 600 pixels on the height. So that is a three by two ratio. So all those images that were three by two, there were like three or four of them, three of them, I think, uh, those will all, when we're done, have uh, a pixel length of 900 pixels and a height of 600 pixels but the panorama because that isn't able to be in that ratio its width will be 900 pixels and it will adjust the height appropriately so will it will look right and for the um, four by five the height on that one because that's the long edge the height will be 600 and then the width will adjust. And I'll show you that when we get there. All right. So we're going to save Miss JPEG. Well, you know what? I'm going to save some as, as tip files too. And so we're going to resize to fit these. And we're going to do the same thing here. So we're going to have, we're going to do two different resizes at the same time here. Not only are we resizing them into JPEGs, we're resizing them into tip files as well. This will take a little longer because tip files take a little longer to write. So we're going to do that. Now, we could run an action. Do you have a Photoshop action you want to run on these images? For example, you could automatically uh, put a vignette on it. You could have them cast a shadow. You could have a water reflection. All these different actions you could do. You could have that action applied to the image during this process. I'm not going to do that. You could add your copyright info here. You could see there's my name. And you could include the ICC profile of the image inside of it. It'll be just embedded in the image uh, with it. You also could uh, compress your TIFF files as well. Um, not going to here, but let's just do this. So I'm ready to go. And all I'll do is click run. What you will see, what you will see is it will open the images up one by one and just kind of flash like this. It's doing all its things to it. It's done. That's how fast it is. It really is fast. Now we'll go back to our folder. And you'll see I have two folders. I have a JPEG folder. And if you were a little confused when I was talking about that, the ratios and the difference and what it, height is and length is, let's just take a look at them one by one. This was a three by two ratio. So this image should be 900 pixels long by 600 pixels high. So we'll close that down and I'll hit uh, command I on my Mac. We'll take a look at it. And you'll see it's 900 by 596. So it wasn't exactly three by two to begin with. So it just put that long edge at 900 and then it adjusted the height accordingly. So we're not, it didn't automatically crop anything. That's the point here I'm trying to make. Here's that pan, uh, panorama. Let's see what that one did. That one should be 900 in length and it will adjust the height accordingly. Yes, it did 900 by 300. See that? This is, this is the three by two black and white image. And again, that should be close to 900 by 600. And you can see it's 900 by 596. And this is the two by three. Now this one should be 600 in height and it will adjust the width accordingly. little awkward for me, I'm sorry. I have to look around my mic to see my keyboard. 
Um, so there you can see the height is 600, so it adjusted the length accordingly. So it's 397 by 600 on that one. And this one is a two by three, so I suspect this will again be 900 by 596, like the others were. Oh no, it's 899 by 600. See, it had to make a layer out of me. But you see how it will adjust accordingly. So you're not going to miss any pixels. It's not going to crop anything away. You'll get the actual image edge to edge, corner to corner. This one, uh, this was the file, 4 by 5 So it will make, because it's a vertical, it'll make, it will, that 600 I had for the height, that will be written in as 600. And then you can see the width is 480. And that was that little goose baby there. So that's it. That's really how you resize in Photoshop. And those were the JPEGs. I should probably show you the TIFFs too, just real quickly. So you can see they're same exact thing, but they're TIFF files. All done in one false swoop. So that's why I prefer to use Photoshop uh, when I'm downsizing, just because it's faster. And you also have that versatility, although I've never had to do it. Usually I'm downsizing, just making JPEGs, but you could make TIFF files as well and PSD files as well, if you need to. So that's it. That's how you downsize images in Photoshop. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.